If you're anything like me, you love fashion. And one of the things that I love doing is figuring out exactly which looks are the most wearable, especially for ladies like me that are over 40. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy and I'm 49 years old. And let me tell you, things do start changing after the age of 40. But I've always been a fashion lover. And just because we're over 40 or over 50 or over 60 or over 70 or over 80 or whatever age you are, it doesn't mean that you have to give up your style or your sense of style based on what the trends are right now. So I have combed through all the trends that are happening right now to give you the most wearable looks coming for spring of 2024. The first trend that I'm actually the most excited about is what I like to call classic styling. Some people were referring to this as like an old money look or quiet luxury, but I really like thinking of it as classic styling. That really just means elevated basics. You know, maybe investing a little bit more in some pieces that you have. You know, like we're talking a blazer, a collared shirt, you know, making sure you've got some great trousers, even some jeans. And none of this means that you have to break the bank either, but really having those really great core pieces that make you have a classic and sort of timeless wardrobe. Now, there's a show that's really giving me inspiration on this right now, and that is Feud on FX and also on Hulu right now. It's about the feud with Truman Capote and what he called his swans in the 1960s and I think early 70s too. And oh my God, this, this show is just so beautiful, but it's such an amazing fashion inspiration. You can see how current some of these looks are even right now in 2024 from way back then. And that is the power of having really classic and timeless looks. So again, invest a little bit in the pieces that you can, but some of my other hot tips that I like to do is like for basics, you know, go on the real reel. I am a huge, huge fan of the real reel. I get so many pieces on there. If I wanna buy a silk dress or I wanna buy something designer, I almost always check on the real reel first because it's usually in brand new condition, or if not just the tags are off, you get amazing quality and you're paying usually half or even less than you would in a department store. And another important piece of this classic styling look are the tones. So we're thinking neutral tones. We've got your, your blacks, your creams, your white, your brown. I think brown is one of the chicest color because if you put a brown belt on anything, I think it just automatically elevates your look. Whether you got it from H&M or you got it from somewhere like Celine, it's really gonna just make you look expensive, it's gonna look timeless, it's gonna look classic. So look in your wardrobe and note the pieces that you have. You know, my goal is never for you to buy a whole new wardrobe or spend your entire paycheck, but piecing things together in a way that not only looks current, but also is wearable for you and gives a nod to that trend. Ooh, this next one is such a favorite of mine and that is wearing all black. Yes, you know, even for spring, black, I always have thought black looks so chic in spring because it's unexpected. You know, chalk it up to me living in New York City for over 20 years, but I love black. And it was so funny because when I first moved down here to Miami, so many people, whenever I'd wear an all black outfit would be like, uh, did you just get off a plane from New York? But now it's having a renaissance and I love it for spring especially. It's a little bit more unexpected. So look in your closet, see what black pieces you have. Maybe you invest in a black slip dress or a great pair of black trousers or maybe a black linen shirt or who knows, but look in your closet and see the pieces that you have and maybe see how you can freshen them up for spring. I love this, you're seeing it everywhere. It's chic, it's timeless, and again, it's it's just nice to have that unexpectedness of black being such a beautiful and sort of glamorous color instead of just all the pastels and flowers and all the things that we classically think of as spring fashion. Now this next one is a little bit polarizing, I'm sure for some of you, but I promise that even us over 40, we absolutely can do that, and that is sheer pieces. Now, I'm not telling you to wear you know, a sheer dress with a thong underneath it. Mm, not a look that I would be doing either, but including some elements of sheer fabrics, you know, so maybe it's just a little bit of a nod. Maybe it's a blouse that just has 
has sheer sleeves or you wear a tank top underneath it instead of a bra or maybe there's a little portion of your dress that's sheer. I just think that this gives you a little bit of mystery, gives you a little bit of sexiness without really showing everything that you've got. Another fun fact with this, especially if you don't really love your arms, sheer sleeves can be great because you're kind of covered but you're kind of not and it can look really current and fun and just a great way to have a little bit of fun with this trend. Will you try this trend? Definitely let me know by leaving a comment down below. Let me know which one of these trends is your favorite. Again, this channel is for you. It's YouTube, right? So let me know uh, which one you're resonating with and if I forgot anything. Next up again is, this is one that I, I absolutely love. Um, a few seasons ago, everyone was saying low rise pants, low rise pants are back in and they were really trying to push this, but I am so pleased to say that high rise pants are of the moment for spring of 2024. Now, I never did the low rise. So again, one thing to remember with trends is you can choose to either follow or not. And in fact, I think especially as we get older, we start knowing what really works best for us and for our bodies. We're not being ruled by trends as maybe we were when we were in our teens and our 20s. However, I do think that knowing what is considered trendy is good to just have a little bit of freshness in your wardrobe, whether you choose to follow it or not. And so with high rise pants, I'm so pleased because they were always in my closet and I just love higher rise pants. You know, I've had a baby, I'm over 40 and even as a, a relatively slender person, I don't like the idea of my pants being low. You know, I'm, I have a toddler, I'm bending down. So higher rise pants are great. Some of the high rise pants that we've seen coming down the runway, they are high, like really, really high. So you might not want to go that high, but mid rise or higher rise, it's just so good looking. I will leave a link to my favorite new jeans that I'm absolutely obsessed with are actually what I have on right now. I got these from H&M. They are literally, if they're not sold out, $30. I think the rise is so perfect. And to me, the reason I was thinking about it today when I put them on, why do I love these so much? It's because they're cut sort of like a trouser. So they've got like a medium high rise, but there's like room in them, but they're not huge where it's like becomes costumey. So I'll definitely link those down below. Make sure to check it out in the description box. Another trend that I know you're absolutely going to love is that the off the shoulder top is back. Now I, again, I love spending a lot of time in Italy during the summers. And again, that is just sort of a classic look if you ask me, but I love seeing so many different iterations, you know, from designers to just being seen at H&M or a Zara or something. Now, what makes it a little bit different this season is that they're doing it with a really thick band across the top, which again, I think it makes it really wearable. I always remember when I was a teenager, Donna Karen saying, you know, the one part of a woman's body that never changes is her shoulder. Like you never have a shoulder that you don't want to show. So um, even if you don't love your arms, again, I've got some great tips for you on arms. <laughs> check out my bio and you can check out my fitness membership. If you're not loving your arms, I'll make sure that you do. But um, you know, the, if, if you're not loving your arms yet, you can just have have this off the shoulder top and it cuts you off right here at the shoulder. So there's none of that, you know, can be problematic area of your tricep being shown. And I just think it's so flattery. It's classic. It's timeless. It's kind of, to me, a little bit of a blend of that classic styling that we talked about being a trend with that off the shoulder as well. So I think that there's just, again, at every price point, you'll be able to find something no matter what the price point is, no matter what your body type is. The next trend that's so wearable for us is the return to the maxi skirt. Now I am a short little queen. I am only five foot. We'll say two, but apparently I'm only five, one and a half, but let's call me five, two. Okay. I, I'm not a very tall person. So I love, love, love wearing maxi skirts. Even a shorty like me, you can wear a maxi skirt and it's not going to make you look like, you know, a tiny little person. So the key to this is making sure that the fabric is breathable, that it's movable, and also where does the waist hit? If I was wearing something low waist that was maxi, that's going to shorten me. But if I wear something that's on my waist or maybe even a little bit high waist, it's going to be a little bit more flattering. So obviously work with your body type, but midi and maxi skirts are very of the moment right now for spring 2024. So again, the best place to check before you go to a store, before you bust out your credit card is look in your closet. You know, I pretty much have like no mini skirts. I think I have like 
maybe two left. Uh, and the reason for that is since I moved down to Miami, I don't get the opportunity to wear tights and I like a little coverage for my legs at this point in my life at almost 50 years old. So um, I tend to like things that are, you know, just above the knee, just below the knee or long skirts. And also I have a toddler that I'm bending, you know, and, and chasing after. So check in your closet, but definitely look, there's some great at every price point skirts. You know, um, I think it was last season Season, that the long uh, maxi denim skirt was really hot and that's still going into this season. So again, you might have purchased an item or two that you can just keep going with you in spring, but I'm sure that you've got a closet full of midi or longer skirts that you absolutely can be wearing now and look absolutely on trend. All right, this one I think is great. It's so great and I just think it's so fresh and it's absolutely perfect for spring and that is white dresses. Now, we talked about black being very chic, but also we're seeing, again, this like opposition here, white dresses. Again, I'm telling you, this Truman Capote, the swans, it's really got me thinking, because remember his famous black and white ball? Again, I just think that a white dress looks so chic, so fresh, and also to me, it looks kind of rich and expensive because, you know, when I lived in New York and I was taking the subway every day, I wasn't wearing a lot of white clothing because, you know, I was living in a city. But now that I live in more of a, a car culture city where it's not a big deal for me to wear white, I just enjoy it more. I think it just looks really fresh. Um, I got this amazing, amazing white dress last year before I went to Italy. And I'm telling you, every time I wear that dress, I get stopped on the street. It's just very, the way it's cut, it's long. It's flowy. It's just absolutely beautiful and it doesn't overpower my frame So again look in your closet first see if you've got any white pieces and these can be pieces of any length And if you've got some white dresses now would be a great time to pull them out now This is one that I know some people you either love this one or you hate this one But again because I tend to like more of that classic styling kitten heels are back You know one of the films that really just shaped my life and shaped my vision for fashion and sort of glamour and like what I wanted was breakfast at Tiffany's. And so I always think of like little kitten heels from that time period and they are back. They're easy to wear, they're really comfortable. And you know, to me, it just looks a little bit better. I don't have a lot of flats. Like I don't like how my foot personally looks in a ballet flat because I danced ballet for years in point shoes and I have like really crazy bunions. Yeah, and I'm not getting surgery. No, because they don't hurt. So off topic here, but um, I do tend to wear slides. So that's about as a flat of a shoe as I get, but I like myself because again, I'm pretty short. I like having a little bit of a heel and kitten heels are great. Again, they're comfortable, they're wearable, and they just give you a little bit of an elevation to your look and also to your height. So check it out, see if you've got any, and again, every single price point you can find yourself a pair of kitten heels. And don't forget to look in consignment as well. Um, I know some people, it freaks them out, but I, again, at The Real Real, I've gotten some absolutely beautiful shoes uh, that I absolutely love that aren't a super high heel, and they're just like pieces of art. So look and see what you've got, but definitely if, if you're feeling this and you like a kitten heel, now would be the time to invest. This last one is honestly the most shocking one, and that is, Peplum tops are back. The shirt that I'm wearing right now is peplum. It has peplum. I thought after you know the early 2000s, none of us would wanna go near a teplum, but they are back. And for some reason, they do look really fresh, really current, really new. So again, maybe you didn't get rid of some of your old peplum. I'm thinking of this blue tank that I used to have that I had for years and years that I unfortunately got rid of not too long ago, but, um, and it's just such a beautiful blue color, but hmm, a girl can dream. But if, Check out in your closet, see if you've got any peplum, and if you do, you can pull it out once again because it is back, it looks fresh, it looks new, it looks current, and this is the time for peplum. All right, so those are my top wearable trends. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Let's get active, let me know which is your favorite, but my number one trend that is always in style is your confidence. No matter what you wear, no matter if it's on trend or you know something that you've had for 20 years in your closet, but you feel beautiful and you feel amazing, your confidence is the number one thing that's always gonna elevate your look. It's not about how much money you spend, it's not about if something's designer, it's about how you feel and how you are being in your looks. And especially as we have the gift of aging, this is extremely important. You are worthy of being seen at any age and any stage of life and own it. All right, so if you haven't already, 
please do subscribe to my channel. It's free to do so, and it's definitely gonna help us grow this amazing global community of women. Right now, we're over 200,000, and I cannot wait to celebrate with you when we reach 250,000. You are the reason why I do what I do, so I just wanna thank you so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.